and welcome to Tonic Studios. Now today we're going to share with you some of our January launches. They are beautiful. They really, really are. So detailed, so fine, but so easy to make. Okay. Now you are getting two different ones. You're going to be able to have the decadent hexagon and the decadent square as well and it's going to give you beautiful beautiful boxes okay absolutely gorgeous they really really are so whether you are making the square one or whether you're making the hexagon one they're going to look beautiful now you can cross pollinate those tops if you want that's entirely up to you but when you look at these I have to say these are beautiful so look at this here so this one here is your hexagon really really detailed top there you've got all those lovely side panels on there and once you open these up you can decorate them on the inside as well if you want but they are beautiful they really are so that one there is your hexagon and then you've also got the square version yeah so look at all those panels are on there I mean the panels on the front of this this could actually just be a card front couldn't it many many different ways of using those now the dies themselves let's have a look at the dies so these are the dies themselves so let me just bring myself in so you can see, see me so these here are the dies themselves you can see there that they are the square ones and then if I just flip that over, you can see that you've got your hexagon ones in there as, as well. They really are beautiful and so, so detailed. Now to make this up, it is very simple, okay? So what you're gonna need, let me just move that out of the way. So what you're gonna need is four of the main die, okay? Why four? You're gonna, you can use two if you want, of course you can. But I like it nice and firm because this is going to be the top and also your base. OK, so let's face it. It's important that we actually firm this up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to place my adhesive all the way around the edge. Try and get it as close to the edge as you can. So all the way around the edge of that one, like so. And we're just going to simply stick the other one straight onto the top so I'm just using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive here best glue in my opinion we're going to place that onto the top of there so now because I'm using a 240 GSM card I've got there my 480 straight away okay so let's bring in the other one uh, we're going to do the same on this one as well just get in it into all those little edges all the way around there and then bring that one in straight onto the top of there and give it a good old squidge around those edges okay so we've now got the base and we've also got the top there so let's put that to one side now you've got two different panels You've got a straight edge panel and you've also got one that's got a beautiful little curve on. It's also got loads of little perforations in the lid one as well. Pretty, really pretty. So to make the base one, we're going to start with the straight edge ones. And we're simply going to come across now and we're going to join all these together. Let me get my eyeballs on so I can see what I'm doing. So here we go. So we're just going to join four of these together now you could be using wet adhesive in this situation that's entirely up to, to you but we're just going around these edges and we're just going to join come on let's have you all these all the way around here and then we simply bring it in and join it up at that side and so that we get a perfect square base you can if you want stick that directly onto there but sometimes you get it slightly skew whiffed 
So what I like to do is I like to turn it over and take one of the squares that come in the collection. So this is one of the squares. And I put this square directly onto that base. So bringing that in now, I'm going to just bring that little leg up a little bit further so it catches. And I just place that one onto the top of there. Just hold it, heat of your hand, absolutely perfect on that. And that is going to square up your actual base, okay? So now you can take another one of the squares if you want and put it on the inside and that's going to hide all your little glue tabs in there. And you're simply going to take that section now and we're going to stick that section directly onto that base. Now all I do is I just lift it up and I just eyeball it, make sure it's nice and level. And that there's the base of your actual box. So let's do the same sort of principle with the lid. Taking the ones that have got all those little scallops on there. Uh, we're going to come in now. Come on Mr Tape, play nicely for Jodie. Um, we're going to join these together now. So nice and tight on those little joins. Taking that one off there. Bringing it directly in. So it tickles its friend. And then that one here. So this is going to come into here. So we've now got that one. Same again, join it up at this side. So just taking that, bringing it round, placing one in on the other. So you can see now that we've got all those gorgeous little scallops going around there. So we're going to bring in once again the square. And I'm going to put the square onto the top of that one so that's going to square all that back up and make sure it's not not wonky at all let's just hold that into place so we've now got the lid okay and this is where i do it a little bit differently so i take my base i take my lid and i put my lid onto my base okay i then put my adhesive onto the top of here and then I take the actual lid and place it onto the top and then just lift it up and then just tap it on my mat and that's going to level up the base with the top so they're all nice and level going all the way around <laughs> you've got your box you have got your box. The only difference with the hexagon is obviously you've got more sides. But look how beautiful that is. And when you start to bring in all those patterned dies into there as well, you can see how easy it is to transform that beautiful box with all that gorgeous detailing on, on there so the choices are yours you can either have the square base if you want the square base you can have the hexagon if you want the hexagon or you can have them both together whichever one you you want absolutely brilliantly okay so let's go back to my full face i can see you see you all it is an easy box to put together yeah these are going to be launching mid january on crate and craft but you can also buy them direct from tonic's website as uh, as well okay so you can join me on crafting with J jody so much fun on there if you need a mojo kicker for january that is the place to, to be loads of instant inspiration and you can share your makes no matter what craft you're doing, you can share all your makes on, on there. But if you are joining us on Tonic's Facebook page, you can like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and you will get all the details of the latest and greatest from Tonic Studios. So from Tonic Studios, thank you so very, very much.
and hope you enjoy these boxes. So take care and thank you for watching. Bye.